How to make an at-home oyster research station out of recyclables. An ORS is used as an educational tool for teachers, students, and community scientists that want to study in New York Harbor. Each cage houses approximately 10 oyster clusters in addition to the many creatures that live in and around the cages. Some materials you will need are cleaned recyclables, scissors, some kind of adhesives such as tape or a stapler, Start with some reference images. Here are some flourishing ORSs. Notice the oysters growing out of the cages. I decided to use an egg carton to create my oysters. I cut apart the cup side and taped them together to create a 3D oyster. It would have been easier to use glue, but I didn't have any on hand, so I had to use tape. But please be creative. Use whatever you have at home to create your oysters. I also wanted to add some smaller oysters, so I cut them out of a cardboard box. Draw them freehand, they don't have to be perfect. This cherry tomato container was perfect to use as my cage structure. I wanted to illustrate the oysters growing out of the cage, so I measured and cut holes in the structure that would fit the egg carton oysters. The plastic might be sharp, so ask your parents for help. After you're happy with that, Move on to painting. I started with some reference images. I wanted to see what color our oysters were in the wild. I mixed some black paint, yellow paint, orange paint, and white paint and created brown. It doesn't have to be perfect and your egg carton doesn't have to be covered all the way. As you saw in the photos, oysters come in many, many different colors. So be creative. Maybe there's a little purple, maybe there's a little green in your oyster. A live oyster always has two shells. Don't forget to paint where they connect. I decided this onion bag reminded me of a creature I see growing on ORSs all the time, a lacy bridezoan. I painted it green to match and set it aside to dry. Oysters always grow in clusters. After my cardboard oysters dried, I wanted to stack them. So I cut a small slit in the bottom of the oyster and the top of another oyster. I slipped them together on a diagonal to stack them. Some tape might be required. You could do this for as many oysters as you'd like. Now for the cage. ORSs are made of black wire mesh, so I use black electrical tape. I cut each piece in half to reduce my usage. I taped each section onto my cherry tomato container to mimic the pattern of the mesh. Be sure to leave your holes open so you can fit the oysters inside of them. Next, I added my oysters, some growing inside of the cage and some growing out of the cage. I cut some pieces of cardboard so they could be my sediment tiles on top. These tiles are located on the cages as a habitat for mobile and sessile creatures. I cut some slits in the egg carton oysters so the cardboard 2D oysters could grow out of them. Sometimes it was hard to get them to stay in place so some tape might be required. Now, for some creatures. I wanted to add a crab and a lacy bryozoan. It's hard to see, but I taped the onion bag bryozoan onto my ORS. It usually grows on an oyster shell and gives them a really beautiful pattern. For my crab, I decided to use a bottle cap and a bread tag cut in half for its claws. 
I used strips of cardboard for its eyes. I also wanted to add my favorite critter called a tunicate. Instead of using plastic recycling, I decided to use a clementine peel. You could dry the peel in front of a radiator and it will harden. I added the flower patterns you see on a tunicate to the clementine peel and taped it onto the sediment tile and the oyster. I wanted to add a fish. This is a cunner. They come in many different colors, including some blues and greens. So to create the fish, I took a bit of a recycling bag and stuffed it with a piece of the onion bag, sealing it on one end with tape. I also cut a piece of cardboard to act as a fin. Lastly, I needed to add a rope or a line to the cage. I took a paper towel roll and re-rolled it tightly, enforcing it with tape on either side. Our line is always a beautiful green color with yellow strands inside. So I painted the cardboard roll green. I cut a hole in the middle and inserted my rope. Let's pull up our ORS. Check it out! A homemade oyster research station. It's got lacy bryozoan, tunicates, fish, oysters, and even a baby crab. Show us what you could do. I want to see your oyster research stations made out of your own recyclables. Be creative. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit BOP's digital platform for more STEM education resources.